Now, I would like to talk in more detail about Bayonetta's moves. The foundation of Bayonetta combat is a variety of combo moves that can be performed with the weapons she equips on her hands and feet. You can attack by pressing the X button for punch and the A button for kick. If you press and hold either button, you can start shooting in the same position. Continuously press the buttons to execute combo attacks. Depending on the button combination you press, you can execute various combos. Please try to find your favorite ones. There are so many different types of combos that you may end up executing an unexpectedly powerful combo as you keep experimenting. There's also something we like to call automatic mode that allows you to fight automatically by equipping the Immortal Marionette and pressing buttons. You can even play just by using the Wii U GamePad touchscreen. You can also enjoy this game casually through these modes. Many powerful enemies will stand in Bayonetta's way, but there's one important element that should give you an edge on the battlefield, the spell that controls time. Which time? When you dodge an enemy attack, at the very last second, this ability will be activated, allowing you to slow down time around you in a big way. But you must dodge the attack at the very last second to activate which time. This requires some courage, but as a reward, you can create wide openings, making it easy to inflict more damage with your attacks. As you attack and successfully execute which time, you can charge up your magic power. The gauge on the top left is your magic gauge. Once you fill it up, you can activate some powerful attacks. For example, this is a torture attack. These were included in the last game. They reveal Bayonetta's sadistic side. She summons devices from the past that were used to torture ancient witches and uses them on her enemies mercilessly. The device summoned will differ depending on the enemy, so please try to punish a great variety of them. Another important feature is a powerful new magic attack we added to this installment, Umbrin Climax. By releasing your accumulated magic power, you can temporarily enhance Bayonetta's attack power and attack range. While she's in this state, Infernal Demons will act more violently than during normal attacks. Torture attacks are better suited for fighting a single enemy with one powerful attack, and Umbrin Climax is better against multiple enemies in a wide area.